and welcome to Camping for Foodies. With scenery like this, you don't need to add any extra beauty. But today, we're going to have some fun adding a little extra style to our typical camp setting. Come on, let's do this one. It's common to have some kind of canopy, folding chairs, and a lantern for some lighting at typical camp settings. But we're going to glamp it up a little bit today. As you can see, the only thing that's remaining from our typical camp setting is our canopy. We've created a floor with some area rugs. So with a phenomenal view like this, we don't want to block it, we only want to enhance it. The way that we're going to do that is by adding a few shears, and that's going to be to soften our tent structure. These particular shears have grommets, and it's really easy to take a shower curtain ring and go through the grommet and then attach to the structure that's already existing for our canopy. One way to really enhance a camp setting is by using some mood lighting. There's tons of creative ways to do this. Today we're going to use some paper lanterns that have LED lights inside that give a really great glow after dark. Since we've added some shears to the back of our tent, we also want to add some to the front canopy legs. We're going to do a shear that's actually going up the leg, across and draped a little bit around the frame and then down the other leg. I like using shears because they are lightweight, they blow in the wind, which gives a really awesome feel, and also, if it happens to rain, they dry really quickly, so when you need to pack them up to go home after the weekend is over, it's not a big deal. So we're going to be eating dinner here, looking at that view. We need a table, so we're starting with a typical camp table. This is the kind that folds up really compact and lightweight. We're covering that with a tablecloth. So now we're going to add some comfy chairs. These chairs are easy to fold up. They're just like any other kind of a camp chair, but they're a little bit more cushiony and a little more comfy. We want to add a little punch of style, and we're going to do that with some accent pillows. So when we do stylish camping, I don't like to forego the traditional camping thing altogether. I really like having that flavor throughout the weekend as well. So I'm going to start my tablescape with typical blue plates, which pretty much every camper has in their camp kitchen. In addition to that, though, I'm going to be using regular silverware with a cloth napkin, which is going to be tied with a ribbon that goes in our color scheme. In addition to our paper lanterns, we like to add a little more glow right at the table so that we can see while we're eating. Tonight we're going to be using some candles that are in mason jars with some glass beads. Now I'm going to set up a small little table on the side which is going to act like a bar. I'm going to have my martini shaker, my muddler, and some other things that I need to be able to mix a drink right over here. It'll be easy access from the table but it won't be in the way of the table and the food. As you can see, it didn't take a whole lot of extra effort to add a little bit of style to a typical camp setting. Not that this scenery needs anything added to it. We are going to be overlooking this spot as we have dinner tonight, which is on the campfire right now. Thanks for visiting us at Camping for Foodies. I'm Kim Hanna. I hope to see you again here soon. Cheers.